Good day, folks. I'm just kind of hanging out here on my wood pile. I don't know, like 16 cord of tree length here, all oak. But anyways, this video, I'm going to talk about my truck. So it's a 2019 Toyota Tacoma. The pictures and uh, camper is what I'm talking about. So what I'm hauling with it, overall length is about 21 feet dual axle camper. The camper dry weighs about 4,800 pounds. And then you add all your gear, all your drinks and everything else like that, all your clothing, all your dishes, all, all the supplies that you have in the cupboards and so on and so forth. And then what I did was I filled the back of the truck with all hardwood, six feet. I think there was four tiers of it and we took off with it so what I'm talking about today is the towing capacity of a Toyota Tacoma 3.9 it's a I think what they call it is a extended cab yeah you'll see it in the picture so what I'm gonna say is the 3.9 the transmission the suspension, the tires, everything on that truck, man, is an absolute workhorse. The thing pulled that camper, and I tell you right now, I'm pulling absolute max. I'm running six on the brake controller. The technician told me I should run around five to six. Um, I got sway bars on it. I got a leveler on it. I'm 100% legal. Everything's safe. I got mirror extenders for it everything um it took us about an hour and 15 minutes i'm guessing to get there if i was totally dry hauling absolutely nothing to take me about 50 minutes i averaged 11.1 miles to the gallon on the way up and i knew i had a load folks i'm telling you it was loaded um the only concern i have with it is the braking capacity you really need to pay attention to what's going on, who's pulling in, who's pulling out, and just hope nobody does something stupid. You know, you're driving this thing like you're probably driving a tractor trailer. Do the speed limit. No issues at all. So on the way home, we had a half a tier of wood left, no drinks. Basically, all our food was gone except for our dry storage, pastas, you know, chips, ramen, um, crackers, macaroni and cheese, all this dry stuff that we bought to keep in a camper in case we forgot something and we needed a lunch or the grandkids came by and we needed to cook them something that they liked. So on the way home, we averaged 13.5 miles to the gallon and it just towed it like it wasn't even behind me. Absolutely no issue whatsoever. I live on this wicked steep hill and I figured I'd be in first gear when I got to the top of it to make the right hand turn, third gear, without a problem at all. Would I take this thing cross country? I would if it was empty. I wouldn't, would, I wouldn't if it was loaded. I have absolutely really no complaints about the truck for what it is. Um, I got a sheriff pulling in right now, so I guess I need to tend to this business first and then I'll proceed on to the video so the sheriff just stopped by give me a little chat no I'm just messing with you he actually was dropping off all my daughter's belongings from the school and um, he asked me if I could drop off all the belongings to my daughter's boyfriend and um, absolutely <laughs> wicked nice guy I thanked him for everything he does for the community the great job he does. I respect every single one of them, especially people that help our community like that. But we don't need to go in that direction in this video. So back to the t Toyota. Absolutely. Love the truck for what it is. So we can go for what it is. I've always, in the last 18 years, I've always owned three quarter ton Dodges and I wanted to step down a little bit. I didn't have a camper at the time. I wasn't hauling anything. I wasn't working the farm. I wasn't doing any of that stuff. So I said, what the heck? I want to try a smaller truck. 
and this is what I have to say if you're a three-quarter ton owner of a vehicle and you want to step down to a smaller vehicle that is exactly what you're gonna do you're gonna step down I tell you right now my Dodge is ten times the truck that Toyota is and ever will be but it also doesn't have a big Hemi in it it doesn't have a towing package you know it doesn't have disc brakes all the way around it it doesn't have the three-quarter frame it doesn't have a three-quarter suspension you're gonna get what you get when you buy a Toyota they are not a three-quarter ton truck by any means at all I talked to a salesman a few years back about getting one and that's pretty much what he told me gas mileage on them you know if I no matter what I do with my Dodge I don't care if I got two tons of gravel in the back of it and a plow in the front of it I get 13 miles to the gallon I'm lucky on that 3.9 to get an average of 20 miles to the gallon I don't care where you're running it if you're gonna run it around town you're gonna average about 17 miles to the gallon if you're gonna run it you know top gear cruising down the highway you're gonna get 20 I don't understand why but that's just the way it is so take that information as any way you want to take it and I also want to say thank you for dropping into my channel you know you can always subscribe you always hit the like button give me the thumbs up you always can write a comment we always can chit chat I'll never steer you wrong I'll tell you what I think and then you can think of however you want to take that and um, go with it so thank you very much have a great day